<laughs> What's up? <coughs> Sorry. Of course, um, I wanted us to, to talk about, <coughs> talk about this, uh, talk about this topic. Because, uh, <coughs> one of the things that, uh, we, we don't have in the countries to build is the, is a, a movement. I think we need a movement. We need to focus on the movement. But, um, a movement should be a national movement. We can't build, we can't have just a movement, uh, in Kampala or in the central, you know, the central region. We need to build a movement, a national movement. When you talk about people from different parts of the country, you will have people watch together. We almost will reduce the people from the country. We will reduce the people from the country. We people. So, because seriously, if a big force comes, it's not easy to mobilize. People, people, people are not easy to mobilize if you have a big cause. I want to, I want to bring, uh, one of the latest movements that was built, for example, from the incidents that happened. And I will give an example of <coughs> the, the, the Women Life uh, Freedom Movement for in Ilan. I posted about it yesterday, but I posted it about it, uh, f- uh two years ago, 2022. Um, in, in Iran, being a Muslim country, they don't allow uh, okay. in a way, Islam, like that. But because of civilization and people seeking freedoms and all that, people always, uh, um, defy and people want to do things they want. So some women refuse to put Obukaya in a way that the government wants. And that is a big statement in a, an Islamic country like Iran. So, um, one day, um, one day, the um, lady called the, um, Masa, 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 I mean, was arrested. <coughs> she was arrested. She was uh, beaten. She was tortured. And then they tried to take her to hospital. She died uh, moments after arriving in hospital. So the police, um, the Iranian police claimed that uh, she, she just got maybe overdose and all that. Maybe she was, you know. So, but Iranian, that's the, that, that's, that led to the beginning of the Iranian movement. Iran, one of the countries that are so difficult to protest, live alone in Uganda, is Iran. You know, being that they are Sharias, it's an Islamic country, purely conservative and all that, it's very difficult. But it, it didn't, Iran was shaken by that time, in 2022, September 15th, Iran was shaken by very, very massive movement, very, very massive protests. But it was due to this a young girl, 22 years old, that was that was killed, that was tortured and killed by the Iranian security agencies. And so that led to the rise of that movement, the Women Life Freedom Movement in Iran. Protests in Iran like continued for like two months. And the, uh, many popular artists, female artists were arrested. Up to now they are still in jail and all that. Um, so that is a defying, uh, defying everything. Like you are, they are defying because like I said, it is very easy to protest in Uganda than in Iran. So, how, like, a movement defies everything. So if we are saying we are, we are building a movement, we need to be serious of what we are talking about. Otherwise, it is very easy for the movement to, uh, to, to, it's, it's very easy to build a movement when there is a cause. For example, the March Parliament was a cause that could build a movement. Uh, a movement doesn't undermine political parties, and that's one of the problems that also we have to educate ourselves. Yeah. So, I think we need to grow up and start discussing things much well. One of the things that we don't we don't educate ourselves is to differentiate between a, a movement and a political party. Sometimes people think like uh, movements undermine political parties. No, political parties are, are established. They're in the law. Everyone has their own political parties. But when it comes to a movement, a movement is built on something that at that moment, you know, you know, political parties will last forever if they are there. They will last forever. Unless if it's unless if they are banned by the government and all that, but political parties will last forever. But movements just come for that; they react to the um, situational events, things that are happening at that time, and then they take shape. So, depending on the results of the movement, probably they help us. Movements also help to shape the politics of a country, and also that which actually at the end of the day benefits the, 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 those politicians and political parties. So, but in Uganda, where people don't have a lot of uh, knowledge, uh, like you, you you call it civic knowledge. Even including politicians, uh, and, and, uh, political followers. They think, uh, movements undermine, uh, political parties. That's why, that's explains, <coughs> sorry, that's also explain why political parties and 
most, most the leaders in the close political party, they don't support movements. They don't support movements. Even when they say that, even when they say an opportunity, they don't support them. Why? Because they feel like they are competing with the movement, which is actually wrong because movements don't abolish. They don't, they, there's, no, there's no way how they affect the operations of political parties. In fact, the movements strengthens and creates a more a fertile ground for political parties, especially those that are in opposition. Because they challenge the status quo, and it is something that you, as a as a as, as a, a political leader, as in opposition, is what you want, or anyone that wish to have a political space. Because movements hope to challenge things that uh, cannot be challenged, cannot be sufficient to challenge by political parties. For example, in things that happened in in um in Tojikwata uh, in, in, in 2020, 2020, 2019, 2020, the, the, the easiest thing would have been a movement <coughs> challenging Tojikwata in a political party was a failure from the beginning because already it is a political party. It's a political parties that are rejecting the Tojikwata Ko. So if anything that is unconstitutional uh, comes up, if a government sets up uh, anything unconstitutional, normally um, movements rise from there and they come at that moment to challenge uh, such kind of legislations. So why do we need why do we need a popular movement? Do we need a popular movement? Because um, the parties cannot do what Ugandans want. The parties cannot challenge. For example, I always tell people that for me, I don't have problem with, personally, I don't have problem with, uh, what you call what? Constitutional reforms. I really want constitutional reforms. And I have specific reforms that I want. But reforms must be people-centered reforms, not government-centered reforms. Reforms shouldn't come from the government. Reforms should come from the people. So what happens when reforms come from the government? <clears throat> what comes? They will be, they will be adopted by the parliament. Some politicians will make noise and it will end there. Why? Because the population is not prepared to take up a fight. Population is not prepared. As much as we are mobilizing, we are doing this and this, but we need to prepare ourselves for something bigger than what we are talking about. If something comes up, like you saw, someone is suggesting to create, uh, to create what? Mao, Mao wants parliament to, to, to elect that. And if, if our, if our population is not ready to fight, you know, then, then there's nothing that you do because the pa- government has power. Politicians are powerless and they are few. But there are millions of Ugandans who would stand and challenge that. That's why the earlier we create a movement, the better. The earlier, the better. If we think time is going to come when we are ready, we are not going to be ready. We need to create a strong nationwide movement that will challenge anything that is against the people of Uganda. If you're still focusing on your political party, your political party won't fight. It won't fight. And for me, I don't undermine political parties, but it will not fight. But that's the reality. Because those political parties were there. For example, it was the FDC that was ruling in opposition that time when they brought the bill uh, to remove the, the age limit. It, could, it couldn't manage, you know. So this time they're bringing a registration uh, against um, uh, the citizens voting, the, voting, you know, the president directly. So putting it uh, at parliament. And this time it is no. And still no won't do anything. And that's the reality. They won't do anything because political parties are hopeless. Political parties are helpless, but also they don't have that kind of, of, a, of they can't unite a country to challenge. It's very easy to say it's politicized, this is politics, this is politics, this is politics. So you cannot really speak when you come from your colors, when you come out with your colors and say, uh, you know, but it's very easy for someone to speak beyond the voices of colors. That's why the only thing we can do for ourselves as a country is to build a strong nationwide movement. For me, I personally think that we need to start from there. Otherwise, it is going to be very difficult for us to challenge things that we can see. Mao is bringing this amendment. It will come to Parliament. Some MPs will shout on the floor of Parliament. Others will come on the stairs. Uh, on the stairs outside, they will, they will be on the cameras and they will, they will go on the they will go on record. And then they will be voted back. And then 2026 is going to be okay and everything is going to be normal, just like that. Parliament votes the president and it's okay that we go back to normal, you know, because there is no there is no movement, there is no national movement. We need to build that. We need to build that. For me, I, I thought. Uh, we would start from there, from that discussion, from that, from, from that, we discuss how, uh, we can, we can start. So, good enough. People are reacting. So, I'll start from Mr. Wadi and then, uh, and then we continue. Feel free to request for the mic and contribute. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. If you mean, good afternoon. I hope I'm audible. Uh, uh, Mr. M- uh, MPUOT, I have, I, I, I would like to contradict what is the most popular thing around and I'm sure I may not be as popular to people, but, I think it's the right thing to do. You people, I don't want to attack certain individuals, or I might, I might sound as such. 
But you people need to first move away from these political parties. They have misled all of you. And the earlier all of you realize that, the better it is for this movement. If you have any hope, any slightest hope of ever toppling a proper structured military government. Because these people, all they do is, let's go for the next election. They, they, when the election ends, all they tell you is about to be, about to be a Kalulu. Then you all start coming, here, 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 that nonsense lasts for five years. Then, then, then somewhere in between, if, if it doesn't work, we shall challenge Mr. Amsevini to a free and fair election again. What happened in the previous election? If they stole the previous election, what makes you think the next one will be free and fair? You think we are stupid. Then someone goes and says something funny. We know, the thing is, you should all by now know that we know the problems of Uganda. When someone comes and tells you, I'm a warrior, I'm a warrior, I'm a warrior, I'm a warrior. you don't applaud. We all know that is, it has been here for the last so many years. But then you see Ugandans getting excited because some leader of opposition mentioned how people are arrested and how people are languishing langu- langu- in prison. It has been happening and it is happening and it will happen. Me, I would prefer someone who is solution oriented. Someone tells you and solution oriented solutions that are tangible and they are actionable. Someone tells you, okay, uh-huh. I want to have a over. Okay, Babi Akalulu. We are not going to serve in the seventh government. And they all refuse. But they just make full, make foolish out of us. Eh? Bagamba, we are not going to serve. Then one week later, they are swearing in. Uh huh. They, they go, they dress salary. Uh huh. Everyone is, they, they, those people have budgets. You're here, you're excited about, or well, leader of opposition or whatever, man. They say whatever they want on the floor of parliament to excite small brains. They are drawing a salary and they are comfortable drawing salaries. Recently, that man was even supporting. How, how they should, they, how a leader of opposition should also be given. What was it? An extra thing if over five, I don't know, whatever, man. Someone will contradict me. I don't have details. But the sooner you people realize that those people are just playing on your heads. I've always seen this much to parliament movement as something sensible until I realized you people are drawing noop into it. You make spaces with noop sympathetic thingies, then man, you just push some people out. And it doesn't mean when I don't support over noop or NRM, or, or when I don't support noop, I'm pro NRM, or I'm pro. I'm from Hose. I think I'm the only Ugandan who is blocked by all politicians apart from Seven. And not because, and just because Seven doesn't block. I'm blocked by Mhozi, I'm blocked by Bobo, and I'm blocked by Vesica. Because all those people are just playing on your heads. And the sooner you people realize that they don't care about you. Because if they did care about us, if they did care about, about the change, they wouldn't, they, 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 they wouldn't be drawing salaries. One million you really, and then he buys a car, and then you all become, hey, Obana Gamba, a new, a new term of parliament, he tells you, Government, uh, people are not supposed to get 200 million HMP, but they are given and then they pretend that they have returned. Well, whatever. If they return, they return. But what happens now? Well, what happens? Because now the other one hasn't returned. Now, how do you go from there? We need strategic movements. I tell you, people don't change government by just saying people power, our power. No, it has never changed government anywhere. People let strategies down. People sacrifice. People sacrifice their comfort. You don't, you don't change government when you're throwing weddings and birthday parties everywhere. Musa didn't do that. I'm, I'm using Musa not in a way of, uh, him being a dictator, but you need to appreciate his struggle before he got government. You need to appreciate his sacrifices. If you don't do that, then you're being shallow-minded. You, you, you need, you need, it, it takes serious sacrifice. It's not that they don't need to home struggle, then in China, 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 and then you're all gay. It is a good couple. It inspires very many people to maybe get married and have their own couples and stuff like that. But it is not what I see what will turn. I, I don't, getting excitement over. Graduation, man, there is that weird excitement on the internet over small, small, unnecessary things that don't support. Because when you should tell me he's now a lawyer, uh-huh. when he runs for president in 2026, uh-huh, will he win? Okay, let's say he wins. Will he be declared? Uh-huh. Okay, if he's not declared, what will happen? Well, won't he be put under house arrest? Like the have has been putting them under house arrest. Uh-huh. After, after, uh-huh. Because even after the 2021 elections, he was put under house arrest for a few months. He came out and said he has put him somewhere in public court. Public court in the city, he comes out and Pum says, I'm sorry, will be no more in the next year. You know, you realize he went quiet for the whole two years. Like two years ago, that guy is just quiet until he came out light with over, over national white was. Anyway, people, I'm sure there are so many pro, pro new people here who think Dimukwasa man and others who think around him. You know, like new people always abuse. They always do. And people are tired of those things, by the way. You could abuse. Strong bones never break a, break a bone. Strong bones never break a bone. You would abuse and people move on with it. But the whole truth is, I don't think it helps much. And I want someone to challenge me, um, like with serious points. I want someone to come and challenge me and say this and this and this. I've seen hands up. I don't know. You people can. No, no, no. It's not a personal, it's not a personal thing. You submit, people want to submit their things. So you fi- submit and finish. I want to give other people microphone. Okay, okay. Uh, I think, I think that's basically my point. I would literally just rotate about that. I'm done. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. So I, my, for me, I picked one thing. You said, yeah. it, and uh, please, please mute your mic. And I said it in 2021, uh, yeah, after me. the elections. Please mute your mic. <clears throat> oh. That, um, that, that, um, there was, there are so many voices, including my voice. Well, for me, I was actually suggesting that, why should we form an opposition if we really, why, what did I say? Why should we form, why should we 
why should why should we form opposition when the election has been reached? That was one thing. And I want to give you some something that's happening in in, uh, exam, in Zimbabwe. Please, guys, put put down your mic. I'll start from influence. Then, Brian, put down your your hands. I'll I'll give you. I'm just giving some small highlight here. <clears throat> Something happened in Zimbabwe. Um, Chamisa, Chamisa was, uh, Chamisa ch- challenged Munangagwa, and you can say that he won him, but then he wasn't declared. Something that happened in Uganda. So, there are so many voices among those, um, like you say, radical opposition. Some of them saying they didn't want, uh, to form uh, opposition. And, um, Chamisa found himself in a very difficult situation that part of his members, um, he told his members not to form a, um, opposition, and then others, refused and they went and formed opposition in parliament. <clears throat> At the moment, Chamisa doesn't have um doesn't have opposition. He doesn't control the opposition in Zimbabwe because some of them went and formed uh, opposition. Others uh, people wanted them not to form a uh, so it was like it was a chaos in opposition. And in twenty twenty one that those voices came. What um what will what happens if they are they are stolen your votes and you need really to 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 uh to form to form a to form an opposition government with it and oppose the government that has stolen your votes. Uh, so that's one thing. Lastly, um, when um, when uh, in 2021 after 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 the elections were were stolen, uh, most of the people, uh, especially those who are radical in opposition, um, they now focused more on 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 um, on securing their, their securing their positions. So that's the dilemma that um, you got that our citizens are left when um, they focus much on the politicians. Rather than, um, the goal. Because now the goal changes. The politician's goal is to secure that position. Like you, I don't know, you maybe want to be a counselor. And right now you're focusing on being a counselor. So whatever happens to the presidential elections may not actually matter a lot to you because you are really focusing on securing that counselorship position or chairman, chairperson LC5. Remember we elected chairperson LC5? Uh, like for example, maybe is it, is it in May or something like that? So it will become difficult for you who's fighting to secure, yeah, uh, LC5 chairpersonship again to fight for something bigger. You good? And also the MPs, at that time, in the night of, in the night of, uh, for the 14th January 2021, MPs are not focusing on presidential results. MPs are focusing on, um, their personal results being declared winners in case there's election reaching and all that. So I don't know if, if you guys are much, have you, if, I don't know if you have been in this, in the things, but, um, this is what I can tell you that in the night of election night, MPs, especially because we elect president and MPs, MPs in the night, in that night, they're focusing on being declared. Because the uh, electoral commission reaches the presidential and the, the, the parliamentary. So in the night of January 20, January 14th, the MPs were focusing on securing their, 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 their seats, which leaves the presidential and those are the people that you expect to be running to challenge this, challenge this, which leaves a very big gap, um, to fight uh, the, the presidential region or maybe to expose this and this. So the focus now is diverted from presidential to personal fights. That's why it is very difficult to, to, to so for someone to stand so I wanted to build uh, what 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 this guy said. That normally, because even 2016, that's what also happened with Dr. Bessie in 2011. It also happened with Dr. Bessie. He was um he was not declared. It was very difficult because many MPs were focusing on securing their their positions, and then he was left there. He was just left there. So that is it. Um, I want to give um influence. Then after Brayo, Brayo Rachel Mukono Guluwaguru, influence, and then after Brayo, influence. Thank you so much, Sun. Yes. I hope I'm audible. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I, I will actually begin by uh, commenting on my brother, Mr. Wadi's submission. Really, we, we strive towards making a, a partyless movement, a nationwide partyless movement. We should uh, be mindful of how we speak against the parties because we know that the people that we want to bring close to this partyless movement are people that subscribe to a certain party, to a certain political party. So we, we need to appreciate each one's effort, you know, I, I am so disappointed that Mr. Ward is, is, is putting forth uh, no, no, you know, we have very many political parties. We have FDC, we have DP. These are political parties that have existed before NOPE. You know, by the way, we can sympathize with the NOPE because it has, it is not uh, much old, you know, but we, we should people understand that the pro- their problems will not be solved by political parties. Problems uh, need us individuals to understand that we are our own selves liberators. The moment our people understand that we are the people to liberate ourselves, the moment they understand that political parties have other hidden agenda, you know, you see them fighting for for positions. People are fighting to protect positions. You see Katonga, the, the Katonga fraud is fighting to create another political party simply because, you know, there was a disagreement. They dissociated from the FDC. So they, they dissolved the party and they are fighting to make another political party, which, which to me, it is not necessary. 
it is not necessary that they must be in a political party for them to, to advocate for change. This is, it is evident that these people are in their comfort zone and probably they, they stopped thinking about uh, change. Actually, they, they, they are, they are confident, they are comfortable with what they are having as them. They no longer think for the nation. They, longer, they no longer think about the nation. They no longer think about service delivery. What they are talking about is, 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 is most, mostly about uh, them having their positions and, and then, uh, you know, justice for them. But they, they, do, they, they, they stopped thinking, you know, looking at the, the whole country as a parameter. They have narrowed the parameters to their political party and the rights of their political parties in particular. So we need to not only acknowledge the, uh, the effort of everyone, but we need to tell our people that uh, uh, their problems will not be solved by political parties. We need to let our people be aware that there is a need for them to rise up individually. There is a need for them to understand that our, our country requires, uh, you know, a revolution, a movement that is powerless. It requires, uh, you know, a stand that will unite us all. It requires us to establish grounds that bring us together. Regardless of our political differences, political party affiliations, we need to establish grounds that bring us together. We need to identify that we have a high cost of living, which, which affects everyone, which affects most of the, you know, the, the, the highest number of the Ugandans. We need to understand that we have a problem of corruption, which affects almost everyone in Uganda. We need to accept that there is, uh, you know, our constitution has been raped, which is affecting everyone, and there is need for us to correct that. There is need for us to have a collective voice, a collective stand that will correct that. That is, that is what we need to advocate for. But what does this mean? It means we need to uh, find grounds of, of, of having civic education. I think I, I should talk about this. I and, and Brother Makan and, and Brother Sona, I, I, I shared, I shared some, some very good write-up with Brother Makan and Brother Sona uh, about, uh, about uh, uh, civic education. This is a very nice concept, and, and, and we really call upon anyone who can help us, you know, secure the minimum resources, who can help us, who can lead us in the mobilization of the resources that will effect this. I was thinking of the Morora style. I don't know whether you people have been seeing the Kebasa Morora, Morora style of, of civic education. This gentleman has, this gentleman has, has, has gotten a public address system, uh, that he puts on his car and, and he moves, he moves in the different counties, in the different constituencies, educating people about what is right. I, I think this is, this should be the way to go. Uh, personally, I, 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 I need to, I need to get money for, uh, Mukalakasa. I don't know how we call it in English. That, that speaker that projects, uh, voices higher. I need to go to, to get back to Western Uganda and, and do that civic education. And I, I believe, this will do a lot. We need to educate our people. We need to let our people not be blinded because our people down there are blinded by these political parties. They have much hopes in these political parties, but we need to let them know that it is not a political party that will help them. We need to let, we need to educate them. We need to let them understand that there is need for us, uh, you know, to identify common grounds that, that bring us together so that we can have a very uh, strong movement, a nationwide movement that, that will help us liberate ourselves. Uh, as I conclude, Mr. Asuna, I need, I need us to talk about these things. I need us to talk about regional mobilizations. How do we embark on the regional mobilizations? I need, to, I need us to talk about civic education. How do we embark on, on, on offering civic education in the different areas, in the different regions of this country? We should acknowledge, we should accept the fact that we have uh, uh, an information gap. There is, there is a, a very big problem in the, flow, in the flow of information. Some people don't even know that, that the, their speak of parliament has stole the iron sheets of Karamajongs. Some people down there do not know that. So there is need for us to do a lot about uh, regional mobilization. There is, need, there is need for us to do a lot about uh, civic education. There is need for us to uh, advocate much on unity. How do we advocate for unity? We need to identify grounds that will unite us. Grounds in which all of us are oppressed. Grounds in which all of us are uh, face a lot of injustice, injustices. Grounds in which all of us are actually treated in an inhuman way. So we need to, uh, to identify those grounds and, and then we, 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 we advocate for unity. Based on grounds that unite, that bring us together, grounds that we, we, we equally share. We need to, to really look at that. And then when, when we look at those three things, when we strategize, I think, I think we should have a strategic, uh, strategic discussions on how do we implement these? How do we do with regional mobilization? How do we do with civic education? How do we do with establishing unity? Those three things, the moment we do, we can give it a period of time. We can give it three years. We'll be meeting here, discussing and strategizing on how we achieve those three things. We create teams that will move in those regions, teams that will go down. We sacrifice our time. We sacrifice uh, the, the minimum that we have to make sure that we do, we work upon those three things. In three years, we shall be able to lead a nationwide movement that, that even three years, I think there are many, if, if we can give, if we can sacrifice it and, and do a lot, we can, we can give a, a period of time that as we do this, we are looking at ha having a nationwide movement in this period of time. You can just look at, at an example, an instance of Chitagwenda. The people of Chitagwenda, we are just mobilized and sensitized, you know, j just something small and they understood, they knew that they can do something. 
and they had to rise up. This is something that we should make a strategy for. Let us make a strategy on how we got down to the villages. How do we get down to those regions? How do we educate these people about their civic rights? How do we make these people understand that there is need for them to get united amidst the differences, amidst the divisions that our members of parliament, our area leaders have brought, amidst all those differences? How do we convince our people that there is need for us to get united? How do we make them understand that there is a, a common problem that we need to tackle regardless of our differences? How do we make them understand that they have the right to rise and defend the sovereignty of their constitution? They have the right to defend the government that is wrapping their constitution. They have the right to defend anything that is against, you know, the, the stance of humanity. How do we make our people understand all that? How do we make our people understand that telling them not to vote for the president is the last nail on their constitution? Because we have seen that the parliament is corrupt. Any, anything can happen. Anything can be done on the parliamentarians. These people are there. Uh, they easily fall for money. We have a few that still stand uh, with their people. But these people can easily be convinced because we have a greedy barbarian. How do we let our people know that? The, 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 the electoral reform uh, that will allow or that will mandate parliamentarians to vote for the president is the last nail on this country, is the last nail that will bring this country down, that will make everything worse, that will make everything done. How do we make our people understand that? These are the strategies that we should be laying. I, 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 I need to echo this as I, as I go off. We need to think of how do we make our people understand that there is need for us to unite? How do we extend civic education to the villages? How do we ensure that our people know their rights. And finally, how do we make sure that our people understand that the political parties will not solve their problems? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very, very much, uh, Ronald, for that. It's a very great submission. Uh, uh, Javira, is it? Javira? Um, Carlos has posted something in the comment section. You can, can read uh, some, something that, yeah, you can read also in the comment section. But, um, yeah, mobilization. We don't have to give ourselves time, but we just give ourselves work to do, like, you know, because anything can happen. As long as we fulfill those things that you're saying, then anything can happen. So our work is to do that. So we don't know how it's going to happen, but for us to collaborate to win a caller. So we, we are, we are doing this. How do we build a strong people-led movement in Uganda? In 2020, 2021. Right now, Kakembonga is the one supporting, uh, those kind of bills and Kakembo is part of the opposition. How do you explain to that person? You know, how do you explain to those people that voted opposition mem members right now that the people that the way the politicians had, where the main people had, ordinary people had hope in those people, and now there are people that are supporting things that are against, against the ordinary Ugandans. You get so we need to do a lot as as citizens. Um, Brio. Yeah. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Now I just I joined and then <laughs> uh, I had my brother, uh, Mr. Wad. Uh, holding the hammer, pointing at politicians. They are in, they are in, uh, they are making birthday parties, they are on beaches, they are wedding. And you mentioned that Museven was the other side, very focused on the struggle. I have a book here, it was, it is written by J.B. Kako Kazora. It's called Betrayed by, by My Leader, by My Leader. But in that book, it's clear that when he was in the bush, not every time that Museven was there also. That time that Museven was abroad, that time that was uh, far away from them. Not on, 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 on the duty, but still, he was away. And Nelson Mandela had his kids when he was in the struggle of, of, of Apathy. Still, in the civil rights movement, Malcolm X, when he left prison, he got a wife and he had kids during the struggle. So, you can't then we should stop lifting brains and putting it to some people, to some individuals. We are the biggest problem. You know, it was basically who mentioned who said that we should stop blaming number seven for overstaying power. What have we done? Mr. Ward, the good thing I've checked your timeline. How many times have these politicians, the one you have been pointing out that have done nothing? How many times have they put their lives for us? Where were we? In 2017, that's the time that I call very well because uh, the first term limit I wasn't so much, but in 2017, the age limit. Those members that you are pointing at put a fight in the parliament not to remove that article in the constitution. Where are we? Ugandans, you Mr. Wad, where are we? We are blaming those people. But they fought. Numbers right now still battling. Bobby Wine, Alan Swanyana, the late, the late Kato Obama, majority, they really put a strong fight in the parliament. They really fought. I remember the, uh, the, the, the leader of opposition by that time when he kids almost cried and said, we have let our country. I remember her word. She said, we have let our country. 
That's how painful it was for her to see that one thing that would have saved the country is being removed. But the Ugandans, 45 million people, where are we? Weren't you on the beaches? Weren't you making parties? Weren't you making birthday showers? Weren't we making marriages? Weren't you making kids? That's where we were. We were having lunch. We were having supper. We were look, watching TV as these people are being armored in the parliament. You see? Let's stop shifting blames to people that are doing something. Man, these people have put their lives on the line for us. I was watching the just concluded this press by Bobby Wine. And he said that now Museven wants to erect the president from the parliament. And you guys watched when this happened, when they are moving the term limit. You watched when this is happening, when they were moving the age limit. And you are going to watch when this is happening. Oh, you want Bobby Wine and the rest to stop eating because you guys are suffering? Well, yes, there is someone that I know is capable of living a better life. But just years back, when the inflation in Uganda was high, he called people to come on the streets and we protest on the commodities. How many people have handled it? It's him and the Mukaku. And right now they are still battling with those cases. Because they were inserting violence. But those, that violence they were talking about is calling people to come on the streets and say, man, let the commodities be reduced. That's the people that we are talking about. So you are telling me, yes, they didn't do that part. Now, on the issues of political party, you mentioned that they, were, they are no use for them. I agree. Even my president, Robert Chagrin, when he was, the last time he went on CBS, he was asked this question before he, 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 he implemented that political party. That it was asked by, uh, Nadine Sereko, that will you start a political party? And he said that we shall see, but they are no use for political parties because we have many and they have not shielded anything. That was his words. Later on, he started a political party, but just a simple question. You have seen how many MPs Robert Chagrin has in NUP right now. Just imagine if there was no NUP and we all had, and he had uh, a coalition that's called People Power, no political party. With the way these people in his political party, uh, the way they are, they, they are, they are doing these things, you have seen Mpuga, you have seen Kagabo, at least some of them, they are being whipped by a political party. Now, what if he never had a political party? How was he gonna to, gonna whip Mpuga? Okay? How? How is he gonna whip Kaziwe or Eris? These political parties, Eric on one thing, at least you have has, something. Has, has, has he whipped them? Have they come back to look at those guys? This is the issue. Mm. If there was no political party, Mpuga would have took that money and nothing would have happened to him. Not even coming out of the streets and say, the, the president of the party come and say, you see that man took our money. Nothing. Just imagine. Muhammad is right now. Who's whipping Muhammad is No one. No one. He's a freelancer. Look at the, the, the independent, uh, independent MPs. No one is whipping them. You do something, no one is going to hold you accountable. None. No one. At least when you have a political vehicle, someone can say, you come here. We all know that before the thing came out, uh, he was called at the NUP headquarters and he was whipped. They even told him, now you stay, stay, stay aside, leave this position. You are no longer the, the, the president of the party in the central Uganda. At least something happened. Now imagine if that man was stolen and he never had a political party. Just think of something like that. I'm not saying that the political parties are really something, but I'm just saying that we need them so that we can have control over our MPs. If you have a freelancer like Muhammad in Seneco, he will bring a bill that says misuse of computer, computers that you guys are going to go in prison. That's what happened. But we need these political parties so that we can whip them. They know that they are answerable to a certain, a certain political party. That's why we, even in Kenya, where there are a lot of coalitions, a coalition is made of political parties. We all know right now there is Kenya Kwanza. That Kenya Kwanza was made by, uh, uh, but there are many political parties in it. At least for it, it's a bigger example. ODM, the Orange Democratic Movement, it has a political party in it. Man, we should not start saying that these things are not elected. Maybe they have not elected, but you, we, we as Ugandans, what have we done? What have they won't be that? We should stop blaming people's sacrifices. Man, we sh- these people should eat lunch and sup and breakfast. We should not blame them for our failures. You refused to go on the streets. When Bobo in the election concluded, you just mentioned that he was put under our arrest and he went mute. After that man came to, 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 to the square and he called Uganda and said, man, let's go to the streets and reclaim our, our election. Where were we? I'm going to tell you where we were. Ugandans won the buildings up there holding their smartphones, recording videos. That's where we were. And at the end of the day, you blame a political party, you blame a politician. Before that all happens, 
These people are just using us. We all know. But they are using you because you are full. At the end of the day, they are going to come in the next election and I say, I'm going to do this, the A, B, C, D, 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 A. And then you give them the votes. That's what they do. Some who are trying to do something and you are here saying that they are doing nothing. Okay, we are going to go to the next election. What do you want us to do? You know, it was Nelson Mandela who said that the problem of living in, dict- in dictatorship is that everything you need to do to remove that dictator, it has to be his way. That you have to move into his ways. Right now, the only thing we have to see our democracy is working is to go into his election. Even if, if you don't want to go his, into his election, what he's going to do is going to bring Katumba. He's going to get his people. Ten presidential candidates will come whether they like it or not. And what will happen? He's going to declare himself a president. You will see what you see what you see what happened in, in, in Venezuela with Maduro. This is what happens. This that's what we mean by election. But you should not rule away that we should not go to, 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 to election. What will you spark the people then? How will you tell the people of Ugandans? How will you tell Ugandans that you no, know, this guy is killing our votes when you didn't participate in it? There is no way. At least you have to show something. You have to have the declaration forms. Right now I, I was watching uh, Sanuka in the morning and Secretary General was saying that the only NUP Secretary General was saying that we have evidence that Museveni stole our votes. Now, what if we, we never participated in it? Will you have evidence of what? You need something to spark Ugandans, and you are not engaging in his election. Then what will happen? Nothing. Right. Museveni did something when he was in the bush. You want you, you want politicians to pick guns and go to the bush? Is that what you want? And man, I've been on your timeline, and this is the fact. At least I've scrolled and I've not seen any picture of you talking about the misery in the country before you start blaming the politicians and the rest. At least it should start with you. Do you do something? We have not done something, all of us here. We should be blaming ourselves, not them. How many times have they called us? People are losing their lives. Where is Say so in right now? Because he refused to dismiss you. People are losing their lives. You want Chagrin to be in prison so that you can know that he is doing something? BSJ was in prison. Even to be nominated as a candidate, he was in prison. Isn't that a sacrifice? Man, the thing of shifting blame should be stopped. We Ugandans are the, we are the problem of the country, not politicians. Not those political parties. We, 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 we. Thank you, Suna. All right. Thank you so much, Brio. Thank you so much, Brio. Um, yeah. Um, I'll go to Mubisha. Okay, I thank you very much, my dear brother. For me, uh, of us say good morning. When, uh, uh as Brayo said... Maybe, my... maybe, maybe before you continue, please, members, share the space and request for the mic. I can see Rise Up, Rise Up from Rise Up Acholi, Western Uganda Youth Rise. Please, uh, request for the mic. We need to hear your views from yeah. our country. Okay, thank you very much. For me, I will go with Brayo. We should stop seeing the games of, of, of blame shifting and everything. Everything starts with us. Before we start, at Abruce, you know, such guys come and start distorting and creating. He thought that we are here, we belong to one party. I wanted to tell him that here we are partyless, tribeless, fearless, but we are assertive in our, in our, in our, you know, uh, submissions. We should understand the reason why this government has taken us for a ride. It is because we are myopical in our thinking. It is because we are always driven by, uh, baby, why this? We say any this, this, this. Let's look at how the, the country, how it is being governed. Let's tackle the problem that is really taking our rights away. But when we start individualism, when we start, you know, using our feet to think instead of our heads, we lose out because here there are people who think Bobby Wine has done enough or NUP has done enough. And here there are some people who think we should do more. I think we should think about doing more rather than starting to uh, arise with a lot of our individualism, personal ego, angry status and everything. We are discussing right now, but I don't, I don't think that we all know that we are in the most critical time of our times. Our host have stated, has stated it very well. But as we speak right now, how do we build a strong people-led national, nationwide movement? Because that is what we need. We don't need to listen to things of blaming NUP, blaming DP, blaming... We, are, we have surpassed, surpassed all that, you know. I, I wanted to to to, uh, to echo that. I want to tell you, Ugandans, that we are in such a critical time that we need a nationwide people-led movement because one of the biggest pillars, the axis of the constitution, the axis of human rights, the axis on which the uh, the pivot point of of, of 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 democracy in Uganda being attacked from all centers, Article One that states that all power belongs to the people who shall ex- exercise their sovereignty in accordance with the constitution. It is, it is under attack. And the Minister of Constitutional Affairs and whatever is the one leading the charge to break the pivot. 
Article 1 that states all power belongs to the people who shall exercise their sovereignty in accordance with the Constitution. Without limiting the effect of Clause 1 of this article, all authority in the state emanates from the people of Uganda and the people shall, go shall be governed through their will and consent. I don't know how best I can, I can state this that we can all understand this. If Article 1 is being attacked, it means we, we don't have anything left. Let's not sugarcoat these words. We need to start, you know, the, the Marshall Parliament uh, organizing the 9th of October movement to reclaim the, to reclaim the, 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 the independence. Some people state that when we are waiting for a spark, we are waiting, you never know the election can cause a spark. Who causes a spark? I believe who causes a spark? It's me and you. If we, even if right now Ugandans say that let's cause a spark, a spark can happen. But the question lies, how do we cause this spark? How do we build a strong people-led national movement? So that if we say 9th of October, all Ugandans rise up and we start saying that we are not waiting for this issue to come on the floor of parliament because Suna has stated it very well. Once it comes to the floor of parliament, they can easily put a barricade and, and, and you know, and a barracks on the parliament and it passes, and once it is passed and enacted, you know, it can just be transmitted to Mr. Museveni and, and assent to it. And once it is assented to it, even if Mr. Museveni dies, it means his work to create a dynasty will be achieved. Can we really understand this before we start backbiting, before we start fighting each other? Once again, in the Constitution of Uganda, where we have the national sovereignty, independence and territorial integrity, the, sub the, the, the sub subsection 1, it states, that the state and citizens of Uganda shall at all times defend the independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity of Uganda. Let me read it again for you, Ugandans. The state and citizens of Uganda shall at all times defend the independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity of Uganda. They are not talking about national unity platform. They are not talking about Bobby White. They are talking about citizens and the state. It is our mandate as citizens of Uganda, at all times to defend the, the, the independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity of Uganda. And when I go back on what I stated right at Article 1 of the Constitution, which says that all power belongs to the people, you, me and you, Suna, Brayo, Ellen Prezo, DJ Abdu, Seguya, Muganga, Florence, all power belongs to you and me, who shall exercise their sovereignty. We are getting the word sovereignty in two parts of the Constitution. Where Article 1 says all power belongs to the people who shall exercise their sovereignty in accordance with, the, with this constitution. We have got the word sovereignty there. And when the, how does the constitution defend itself? It is calling upon you and me to defend, to defend it. As per section uh, 4, where the national sovereignty and independence and territorial integrity states that by subsection 1, that the state and citizens of Uganda shall all times defend the independence sovereignty. And who has the sovereignty? Article 1 says that you have the sovereignty and you can only be governed. You can only be governed as per, section, per, per subsection 2 of the, of, the, of the Constitution. That without limiting the effect of Clause 1, that means you can't limit the power of the people. Because Section 1 says all power belongs to the people who shall exercise their sovereignty in accordance with, the, with this Constitution. And subsection 2 states without limiting the effect of Clause 1, without limiting... Without limiting the clause that states that all, 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 all power belongs to you and me, without limiting the effect of clause one of this article, all authority in the state emanates from the people. All authority in the state emanates from the people of Uganda, not political parties, not who and who, but me and you. Without limiting the effects of the clause one of this article, all authority in the state emanates from the people of Uganda, and the people shall be governed, and the people shall be governed through their will and consent, not the parliament, not the president, not anyone else. And the constitution goes ahead, as I've stated before, I'm repeating this so that it can sink in our head, goes ahead and says that the state and citizens of Uganda shall at all times defend the independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity of Uganda. Dear Ugandans, brothers and sisters, here, those are the axes, that is the axis, that is the pivot on which our constitution is being driven on. My dear brothers and, my dear brothers and sisters of Uganda, when you go on the other axis of, of the constitution of Uganda, it states that the state shall be based on democratic principles which govern and encourage the active participation of all citizens. 
the, impl the, Im the implementation of the objective of the Constitution says that the following objectives and principles shall guide all organs and agencies of the state, all citizens, organizations, and other bodies, and people in applying or interpreting the Constitution or any law. The, it goes ahead and says the democratic principles of the Constitution within the political objectives. It states by Article 1 or Subsection 1 that the state shall be based on democratic principles which empower and encourage the active participation of all citizens, all all citizens, me, you, and everyone, at all levels, whether Murema, whether Teyasoma, whether Aringa Suna, whether Aringa Anze, whether Aringa Helen Prezo, whether Aringa Seguyobani, the state shall be based on democratic principles which empower and encourage the active participation of all citizens at all levels in their own governance, in their own governance, the governance of the people. It means these people want to dismantle the state, and the constitution is calling upon us to rise up and defend the sovereignty, independence of our country. I'm not hearing NUP. I'm not hearing NRM or DP. It is talking about citizens and people of our country, Uganda. My dear brothers and sisters, I don't think when I start to read a lot or to talk a lot, it can be a lot. But when, lastly, as I conclude, because I know we are still going into conversation of this in a very, very long term, duties of a citizen of Uganda, there is a, a duty to be patriotic. Why do you come, become patriotic? It's to rise up and come to streets, especially on 9th of October, and start the spark to say enough is enough. We are not waiting for you to dismantle the state. Ugandans, you, you should start being vigilant. Start reading these things of the, you know, the, 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 the order paper. We should start revising the order paper every now and then. So that they don't sneak and do anything. Even the it's enough for us to, to rise up. My dear brothers and sisters who are here, I don't have a lot and I have a lot to say. When you go on the duties of citizens of Uganda, sub, uh, subsection F, it says that one of your duties is to promote democracy and the rule mm -hmm. of law. And to acquaintance, as per the sec subsection G, to acquaint himself or herself with the provisions of the constitution and to uphold and defend the constitution and the law. I beg to submit. All right. Thank you so much, Mukisha, for that education. Um, thank you so much. Our question is, how do you build a strong uh, people led movement? Uh, we want to expand on this, um, on this topic and see how. Thank you so much also for sharing this space. Uh, let us, um, open up uh, this conversation. We promised last time that we'll talk about this. Um, yeah. Okay. Ellen Prezo, please request for the mic, guys, as we share the space. Thank you so much, Rise Up Acholi. Um, you have something that you have shared from, uh, from, uh, from your region. I'll put it in the comment section. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, can you confirm that you can hear me loud and clear? Yes, please. All right. Um, Mugisha has ably represented my views that I wanted to uh, to share, but I'll just add in a little bit uh, from where he stopped. I've realized that as the comrades, the forces of change, those that are advocating for change in our country, Uganda, before we even think about mobilizing other Ugandans, in various parts of Uganda, we must make sure that we are liberated. Our mindset is liberated. If we still have a mindset where our oppressor has successfully made us to blame the victims than those who are oppressing us, then we still have a long way to go. Mugisha has alluded to various articles in the Constitution, but at the beginning, at the preamble of the Constitution, speaks about looking at our dark history, the history of tyranny and democratic tendencies and other unconstitutional nature that was experienced within those years before individuals through the Constitution's Assembly sat and promulgated the Constitution of the 1995 Constitution. These individuals that we're talking about made a good constitution. Maybe the question I can pose to uh, Mugisha and other comrades. Don't you think that our constitution has partially been overthrown by a small clique of people that they only use it to enrich and benefit themselves? 
anyone coming on stage trying to apportion blame on the people that have put their lives on on the line, they have sacrificed their lives, their families, for the sake of liberating our country, Uganda. We should put our eyes on them and call them out without giving them that time to breathe. Louis Wade Omadi, the gentleman that has submitted here, much as I'm mentioning his name, but I'm not addressing him as an individual, but I'm addressing the mind of the many people out there that see things and believe in us. We need to start by changing our mindset. Bob Marley in his song, one of his songs, Redemption, he said, emasculate yourselves from mental slavery. And in, in his book, Ngugi Wa Tiongo, he, he still talked about how our mind remain colonized to lose control and independent thinking on how things are managed in, within our society. Our focus should be on the one oppressive. But at the same time, in the same spirit, I don't want us to lose or to make any mistake to think that people, all, all people that purport to be on the opposition cannot change. People change. They're not like cows the way they cried yesterday. They will do the same today. They change. They're not like picture, picture frames. They will change. I don't want you to lie to yourself to imagine that there's going to be a situation where people will not change. And it's not about them. It's about you. What keeps you awake? What exactly do you want to change? Robert Chagulani, Dr. Kiza Vesiti, uh, Mugisha, and myself and others, we all have one mouth and two ears, two eyes. If we choose to participate in the vote, we have one vote. The only difference that those politicians have that sit in Parliament, they have a platform where they can share, a national platform where they can share their views to change societies. When they speak, when the leader of opposition come out to speak and call out the ills that are going on in the regime, that message is sending it to the people, the Ugandans. If you're playing in a game of football, each game has rules. The members of parliament are not going to do much than probably you might be asking them to do so much. Have they done enough? No, because we have not uh, gone through the corner of liberating ourselves. That means the struggle continues. But when you look at the elected politicians that are in the offices, I just want us to reflect on this. Are very few compared to the majority population of Ugandans that are not in those offices. When they speak out, they are calling out the population to rise up and demand that this is the much we can do. We bring in the message, the information that is inside. We bring out the light for you to see. These are representatives. Much as some of them don't really come back to get your news, but they are not delegates, they are representatives. If you are one of the people that look at the form than the substance, you don't read through the message that they are passing on. The message might be coded for some reason, but can you be able to see The message they're reading, they're bringing to you. One of uh, Brayo mentioned about Ugandans. When some politicians chose to come out, Robert Chagulani Sentamu, uh, Kiza Resident, among others, chose to come on the street to continuously mobilize people, the best they could do is take their phones, stand on the balcons of their, their buildings, and they started shouting on top of their voices and taking selfies and pictures. What is the conscience level of our Ugandans? Ask Ugandans. I submit. Thank you so much, Ellen Frezo. Uh, DJ, DJ Abdul. Yes, Masuzamutia, Masiviamutia, Suna, and Purikita. Suna. Purikiria. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, thank you. We will not wait a Gambica. Attend up with Manu Vienna to Guapo, Spanina Kumaya. The interview now with the Geneva and Arabia. Your response is in the bar, a Manamo, a man, a moon to 
kuba nsonga zino zatandikira ku OTT ebajira ajira bakanga mu oyo ne bamuyisawo era ne tumusasula weza ba ku OTT ne tujja kutoji kwata ko toji kwata kawo ne bajira ne bajika era ne baji kwata ko mhm kati tudda ku kulonda ya president mu parliament we tume baka ne tutakanu ali so George gaba na Uganda baba tuwe di tuwe di kuge rafuka kwa kabaka muhoza afuge leni ole ole muzukuru wa bya jena afuge ebyo byetu kendo bera mu ende byo nabi bakuti ufe bana Uganda kulaganzi tetu fayo tetu erwana ko already betu esiga betu aronda bo batulaga danti bale melirwa era bo tetu chali na banenya chitegera abo bo tetu chali na banenya batulaga da nti bale melirwa fe bana Uganda kati betu lino yimukira wa Tuwe kwa neche kukola na ye Sima nina kumanyo oba chichi oba chichi Oba tuwe taka kola tuja Uganda Kuzuku sabana na Uganda Sima nyu Kupanze ndaba tukola buli chiso boka Na ye Ateche nina kwe chidi uo Betuzuku sata vee batu wana Nza siru mwanyo kubanga Nini sawe wansanga nga Mkubu ulile njiri yeyo Ajanda nga ah, kwa kola chaito Sita kuruma kubanti manyi Yorika ni ya kuna mwyo omu kubabi Ni ya ate Unamuna nga ate ya tatu nila muda la Kupate kaka kazito Ate ya alwana ya alwana nse Banangi, wallahi tulina kwesa bila kwesa vizi Tukolebu ni chisoboka, tulabenga tuchu sensi ya Otherwise, kwa hawe deda Tulino muranga kwa naini ki oktober Yeri tucha aliku nsonga ya sika, zi, fraya, zi Tulabenga, tuteka huku impact ya manyi Banda Uganda kwa tulabenga kwa komedian Gemazima, kuli wotu ongera kubintuwezi Na kutu kwa nilituwezi, kwa tulabenga kwa komedian Sima nyi, kwa wama agana chichi Nchikendo basi simu nga kajiba tulikateko Sima nyi Wao wenu nula waneno kutuita space jetuli kwa rualero ndaba amani kama sina wano sipa pia amani kama sina kwa rualero ndaba amani sina wujio wano kuvira wao tenevu zamu tima milioni ya milioni zaba na yuganda amani wano fetu mwenyo tichi wachi fetu amani wano fetu mwenye wabu jiluna wabu nila kutiki fuko ili nabu insana yu ndi nila yaba hapo zora jola hivu amani nila kwa yada wogila nila the same people wengendo laba nukuluna kumulala wana ipa amani nila kuwindu vineno fetu mwenyo nsi ya fetu mwenyo nsi ya fetu mwenyo nsi ya Aganda bangwe tukoje chisoboka otherwise abasajja abantu libu bibatu twala zamanyi gampe demu ke nala byenti president bagala kumuro nena mu parliament <laughs> ah ayaya ndi geto yuti na ye <laughs> namenye semu sijabalima otherwise ke byange suna ndikaza zamke basi please oh mubanda suna 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 i want to add something on this submission please allow me suna wanje kula yo Add something on his submission. Okay, after that, Mubanda. Right. Uh, one, uh, uh, DJ, we should stop playing because we've been playing for 40 years. Do you think of let's play, let's play? Even God is there I'm looking at us and saying, but what's wrong with this Uganda? Do you think of playing? Banange. To Sabie, we should stop playing and we should start acting. I think God is just watching at us and looking at us and saying, players won't work if we don't come out. Mubanda. Mubanda. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
state we breaking anga bwemba gambe submission yangi ekiba kiddake bela dynasty indirect reconstruction ya bade gamba thank you yes a mind mike the host Mubanda, please have the mic. Bane, naku wade mic, Mubanda. Obasi, yacho future president for the mic. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone that is on this space. I want to respect each and every speaker that has spoken before me. And thanks, the... So, the Muramwa is saying, how do we build a strong people-led national movement? Here, we have to first of all ignore all our political spheres of where we come from. It doesn't matter this time whether you are NUP, whether you are FDC, whether you are NRM, whether you are PRU, but so long as you feel like you are a Ugandan that, that is not free in your area, in your spheres, education, health, somewhere, we have to look ourselves as one, people who are seeking change. And again, as we build that, we need to get to understand that don't be surprised and we need not to put all our hopes in politicians because politicians change day by day. Day by day, politicians will be taken. But the spirit and the faith for the people who hope for change, it will keep on growing. So until we reach that critical mass that will be, that will be needed to foster change, that is when we are going to have a one sparking point and everyone will be on the street. I want to, don't be everywhere. They are going to bring laws. Or they are going to bring each and everything. I remember in in Zimbabwe, they had Mugabe Day. But is he, are, they, are the people of Zimbabwe still celebrating that? Oh, in Egypt, when there was the beginning of this uprising, I remember there is a day when Hussein Mubarak, I think he garnered around 99% of the votes. But in the next days, the people of Egypt, they were all on the street saying no to Hussein Mubarak. These things of people see us, or oh, are we the only one who seek change? Very many people are behind us. But some, they don't want to show up their heads because they are, they come from where or they come from. But it will be until that very day that the Kabai say in take up that time that a person will feel like he's touched when he loses a mother because he was delivered, when he loses a grandpapa because he failed to get a, a medicine for asthma. When you, you have your brother and he fails to attain a, a, a high education of money or he's, he, he fails to get a job because of the federal system. That is when all the people will come out and say, no, no. I remember when Besige was here in Barara, he said that people always say, we support you, Besige. But these people, they don't want to come out of their houses. They just want to be on TikTok, on Twitter. On it. They are not doing anything. You see, the spirit for, that drives the person towards politics, it is something. I remember it was in 2016, the presidential debate. I think by that time I was 15 years. I had toiled all day, all day. Sabo President Sekulida, uh, Mr. President Sekulida Bulunji, where are you? I can't hear you, President. Uh, when we were soliciting money, when we were soliciting money to fund this campaign, I contributed my pocket money. The whole of the time I had to, to, to stay without pocket money, but I had to fund that place to go on. So that's pretty, it will keep on growing until we raise that critical mass. I think that is when we are going to have a change that we badly need. Wherever you are, whether these people who are in government, they are your friends, you tag them and tell them that the truth is that the system is bad and we need a change. So until we first see ourselves as one, and then we first time we bring change here, and then these other things of let's prepare institutions, let's prepare the way we, we go into the election, let's prepare the way how we choose the, the chief justice, and let's look at how we look at the chairman of the electoral commission. They will all be sorted in a free Uganda, not in a Uganda where we have to, to still fight the dictator. I submit. Thank you. Uh, James. Right, I mean, MP of Lenin Duke, who was caught. Yes, MP out. I'm looking for a spot. It's a quarter past, a quarter past 5 a.m. and I mean, the host is already working. MP out and the team. I have posted a slide from School of Public Administration. Break University, where some of us have been trained as public administrators, and they say public administration is multidisciplinary. 
we are a group of people here seated uh, debating. I want each of you to classify yourself where you belong. And reason to public administration is multidisciplinary. There is a chance that is passing us, and I'm not here to campaign for Isaac Semakade. He says, dismantle the judiciary system. How many of you are comfortable with the judiciary system? I am sure all of you know. We just have our girls who have just been locked by the judiciary system. Most of you know how the judiciary system is biased. Now, if you are going to talk about public administration being uh, multidisciplinary, you want each of us to fight from his docket. As a medic, you would wish you want to see us fighting as medics. As lawyers, you want to see lawyers fighting as lawyers. As business people, you want to see business people fighting as business people. And then we form a coalition. Public administration is multidisciplinary. Including politics, you have seen this part of it. Politics part of it. How many of you here are politicians? You might not be, but look at how we are engaging with the politics so much. And other than engaging our doctors. The medics came up with a strike. It went flat. You will see the nurses coming out flat. It goes flat. Each docket must set it is stand on the delivery of quality service. If you are a lawyer, are you delivering justice? If you are medics, are you delivering medicine? And from there, that we are going to form that administration. Politics is just part of administration. And the president, of course, is bullying all of us, using guns, using all other things as a tool of public administration. So, as we speak, look at your docket. How are you performing as a businessman, as a service? If you are a lawyer, look at your docket. How much are you performing as a lawyer? Like that, we go down and then we see what to do for the country. Let's not just speak. We have been speaking every day. We speak every day. We speak every day. In fact, sometimes I don't want to speak because I've spoken enough. But look at your docket. Start from yourself. How are you as an association made of lawyers? How are you as an association of medics? You know, they have had all those associations, but how are they functioning? So if you look at, if you go down to the square, public administration being multidisciplinary, look at your docket. And that's why I'm telling you that Sema Kante seems to have got it right, although... As a country, we have a lot of things rubbing us. And yesterday, I gave you on 12. I gave you 12 of them. I don't know. I can even remind you of them. I can put them here today so that you look at them. Fear, mistrust. You know, we have all those acting among us. So it's so difficult to come together because of all the 12 I gave you yesterday. And I've just given you something small on public administration. How do you set up this? I have told you, I have followed Samakad a little. I was in his debate yesterday. And he attacked the judiciary. And people were asking him, how are you going to do it when you and not working with stakeholders. Stakeholders, when you talk about stakeholders, the stakeholder in law is more seven. Oh, the judiciary system is failing because they, they, they rule for more seven. They, they don't rule for justice. So when he says we need to dismantle the judiciary, and you see where his campaign is? The colleagues are seated in Kampala. He's up country. Justice. The common man must be understood. He's looking at land where he went. That's the case for university versus 300 people. And he has gone north. So that is the way to go. The judiciary needs to be dismantled. Medical system needs to be dismantled. We have deity. Deity is a chiwa, a chiwa. These guys who sit in governments and are called consultants. These guys who sit in governments and are called judges in those funny weeks. That system must be dismantled. I am busy. I'm in the hospital. I just took five minutes for you for this space. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, James. Uh, members, please request for the mic. Um, request for the mic. We're asking how do you build a strong people nation, nationwide movement? If you are not investing for the mic, I'll close the space. Yeah, so if you are not participating, I'll just close the space. I'll just thank you for participating, those who contributed, and then I'll close the space. If there are no people requesting for the mic to contribute to the topic, then I'll just close the space. If you need help, if you have an idea how you think we can build a very strong people at National Movement, please request for the mic. If there's no one. Yeah, uh, soon then I'll, 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 I'll just close. Soon now. Mm. As people request for the microphone, uh, I want us to understand this issue in this context. One of the things we will always do, we will always speak, because God created us with a mouth, with mouth, and it's one feature on our body that you can't stop to, uh, it to do its action. If you are in the house and you keep quiet for a long day, your partner will ask you, "Eh, go city, senor, or So, uh, doctor, we shall always speak, but we should uh, we should make a cocktail of speaking and actions. For that, I can uh, I can uh, I can be in the same docket with you. First of all, I will, as people uh, ask for the microphone, please guys, ask for the microphone and also Polly, Polly in Kulabawa will ask for the microphone, Florence, ask for the microphone. Because we are in the ta a time that we all seem to see as an easy time because these people have taken their time to create an ambience whereby you used to eat. In the long run, we have become uh, I don't know how to say it. In, 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 as doctors, 
obule mwobwe ya galile atene butu kwa atane tuwe ilanga tugongo wa de nga we can treat it na henga fina tugaba ndo mkono kwa hali mala siso mula kunyu kwa atashiko pocha abuji kunywa so the question in 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 here it it seems to be open and closed in the way that how do uh, how do we build strong people led national wide movement in a, in an instance of obulema tu yinza tutio kwe janja obulema buno and we stand straight and tall again we are in a country that has been you know dismantled all organs uh, dismantled everything is not working people who are not citizens are in the country and occupying the decision making bodies and then that's why you can hear a person comes in and says ah nze mnafunya dazi visa zange ndi muzinonya kubeti jasi muntu bana Uganda twesabire bana Uganda mwesabire bwenga muna Uganda obo muna Uganda omutufu yandi badda kula statement yeyo muna Uganda omutufu yandi badda gamba bana Uganda tuveyo tukuyetinge strong people led national wide movement tulabinti no tuwo no kugongo bala kuno so that means our country Uganda is full of opportunists whereby when they see that the boat is breaking they are ready to jump off the boat boba tandiko kuuga the kashumbas and others na yefe bananyini lyato bana Uganda abatufu nafe twefu de bache siriki dorenso ngo lip opportunity gwe tulabango omuntu ayogere nyo era gwe tuwuliriza i want to tell you Ugandans do you know kuwuliriza emyojo jafe we should listen to our inner person that pain inside of us should be we should listen to it to it you know my brother spoke about something here and said abantu we bana nyigirizibwe nyo sanga bajja kuvayo muna Uganda yagala kunyo yagala kunyigirizibwa kutuka wa is the education system functioning is the is the healthy system functioning eh do Uganda have job security in and out of Uganda abagenda be bantwala ku byo kokole Dubai wa ola baba ale mwabule mwa kuleta gundi eno bachita batya bino gundi eno bachita batya okusasula gundi eno how do they call it these people echo kusasula abakozi okubera nga bayina minimum wage yeah minimum wage omugisha kumaliza we monkata also Okay, but they just in peace so that other people could come and ask for the microphone and we keep this conversation moving because we really need it. We really need it so that we can cause the action very soon. And another person said, "Bale kama kole biteka teka bya bwebyo, nina yebo saka wa Uganda bana uli. Tunalinda paka dinga bakole biteka teka ebyo. Tunalinda bamale tukuba mu misumali kusemba yo gwa bino byali mu kuleta batuzike." Then it tutandiko ku kubologera mu gundi eno mu coffee ninga tukuba coffee tujisamba samba. We shouldn't wait for that time. So in the change agalo kugamba we should amplify our voices we should amplify the actions we should double our efforts we should do everything that we have been doing times two buli ali wano wetu gamanti fena tugenda kuchuti kupitinga ku songa yemweyo buli luna kutugenda kubera ku conversation yemweyo buli luna kutugenda ku songa sende katugeza posters ezo kuteka kuma kube and i'm very happy ndabye ku posters zo Uganda today ezo rusaili zino kufuruma ezo Uganda zino kufuruma you get voices from the military people some of us who talk to abali wansao watu kama nafe tuliba kwa unaemele ya lero so we should amplify and get means of doing the action starting from you know breaking the chains in our mindset and creating we should stop another thing superstitions to them we was just superstitions simanyanga ichibichi superstitions we should stop reality thank you yes mongata Uh, thank you brother comrade uh, uh, sona can you hear me yes please yeah uh, uh we've consistently talked about uh, uh well planned emergencies that's that catch some of us by surprise uh about the parliament members of parliament when they are going to guru uh, we protest, we protested it i even said here that these people could be planning something bigger that some of us don't know okay Uh, I even talked about uh, speculated plans for this uh, this kind of uh, uh, of uh, constitutional amendment to have uh, the president uh, or presidential uh, election uh, be conducted by parliament or presidential appointment be conducted in parliament. I talked about it. Member government, I will not begin to to tell you about it. We are going to Okay. Over. They will not discuss about. Uh, 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 problems affecting Eastern Uganda when they are in Mbale or when they are in Masaka. They will not discuss a- any problems affecting uh, the people in the area. They only discuss their interests and wa- what Museveni, uh, what Museveni uh, plan, uh, or Museveni plan is advancing his dynasty. We talked about that. 
So, uh, for you, uh, Wobanga, this one has caught you by surprise. We are sorry because we have been echoing le- le- this over and over again. And many things are going to happen, by the way. But we should reflect, uh, just like soon I said, uh, how do we build a strong people ready nation- nationwide uh, movement? Uh, we should reflect on our population and its structure. How it has been crippled, how it has been paralyzed, and how we can revive each, each, uh, uh, each category of people in our community. Dr. Ma, uh, Dr. James Weagami, we should look at uh, people and their categories in terms of professionalism and different categories of societal groups. For example, the uh, teachers' unions, over teachers' union, doctors, or, or medical workers, okay, lawyers, okay. Then, when we source people from these groups to act as coordinators, those people can help us coordinate their groups. Nebaba mobilizing on a case by case basis, or peer peer mobilization. I remember when uh, uh, around 2015, 2016, uh, with uh, uh, Commander Land Forces in which now we Dr. Sarah Nyanzi members, uh, I was part of that group uh, of what you call now foot soldiers. By then we didn't call it uh, foot soldiers. It was something else. Now, yeah, uh, those, those, uh, if you're a doctor, how many people have you mobilized? Over Bo Baluma, okay? Baluma. If the problems affecting you are the same problems affecting the other doctors and your doctor, how many people, how many doctors have you mobilized to ensure that they join this cause? If they can't join it, you find out why are they not joining you, okay? If you are for the right cause, why are they not joining you, okay? Then after that, we talked about, uh, uh, our peers, the friends, okay? How many of your friends know about this movement and why don't they rally behind it? Okay, if you, your friends, okay, rough with you, converse with you about even things that don't matter, okay, in this country, okay, if you can have a meaningful conversation with your friends about the need of Gloria Boogie, the risks, but you cannot discuss with, this, uh, with them the, 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 the right cause, okay, of the nationwide, nationwide movement, or your friend, uh-huh, then, our friend, Bakugasaji, Erova Gasaji, okay. Zimbabwe na Uganda. Tino kuva mu bintu byo mwenge no byo rwali byo ku discuss ngo yakoze bichi bichi. Let's focus on the nationwide cause. Okay? Obuzi bubuli bumu kuchusa kulembeza bisi gadi tujabyo gera kongo kulembeza kuchusa. Okay? And the problem we will have with some of our comrades and especially many Ugandans is still is treating Museveni's government with high level of legitimacy. Okay? Holding his institutions in high, high regard thinking that they still function and they will save them from their misery. Okay? We have people who still think that parliament will save them from this mess and mayhem. Okay. We still have people who think that the judicial works, therefore it will save them. Thousands of people, congestion in prisons, okay? Whoever is responsible, so judicial has failed us, parliament has failed us, every state institution has failed us. And now, it is not by surprise that Museveni knows those ones, those old state institutions are under his armpits, they don't work. Therefore, he, there is nothing that Museveni wants that cannot pass in that parliament. There is nothing that Museveni wants, whether the policy, whether the law, or whatever, that cannot pass in that parliament, or that the judiciary cannot do. We have been in this country when we see a full justice, Chisake, being denied to read her ruling on a presidential election. Okay? Just, uh, Supreme uh, 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 Court. And somebody comes here, now law wasn't judicial, uh, there is hope in judicial. That is, that is nothing, it is bullshit. Sorry to say. Okay? They will not save you. Actually, our politicians in opposition only help to show you the way. Okay? They may not lead the way. You may be the one to lead the way. For them, they have showed you the way. Yes, they have done their job. Okay? 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 Otherwise, we shall be enjoying speeches, speeches, uh, before we know it, we are divided on a yard, on a yard, which tell those people if they love this country, okay? And they want us to, 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 to advance this cause. They, they mobilize. Ground, we are going to go ground, we are mobilizing. We are going to go ginger. Ah, ah, we are going to get there. Okay? Do they know? 
oba 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 kuira oba kuira kuba buza kwa buza buzi gundi ya fudeni na wasindi kila mabugu okay a few days back I was at a, at a funeral eh ukuzi koko kumu umesaje ya kutaka zindalo na na yoke na kubinduwe bili mubwanga na gamba banangi eh embele ni mubwanga eno bichi yes ukuzi ka kakati when you get a platform oba birthday oba chi jise o mubwagambi tucha limu kusaji wanaimu ategede eh 9th October is independence march vino kuwakanya wana chema lila mubwanga okay Nisi naba de kuspesa yo yesterday aba lawyers inga ba council sema kande bogera bachi very good but why would you be concerned about a small part of management in the seven system but not worried or even caring about the nationwide cause knowing that if the nationwide cause succeeds the rest of the judicial will there even be jabat be the judicial ojabeterera why would you be concerned with a small part just being uh, yeah it is good being president of law society whatever but not supporting a nationwide cause that will advance all the causes we've been fighting for to ensure that we 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 sort out all the space institutions that are in decline that have been destroyed by seven that are a shadow of their former self okay is it a cola i don't discourage anybody okay because now it is part it is still part of us to chat about mongeri but change your thinking change your thinking okay mu mu chusenda ba jimula ba mu ebintu go bolo za judicial e chat yamba ono mugwanga okay nti no kufuna ye chifonti china bwe china tuyamba okay chinza pozi kutuyamba mu bidaizinga because i saw 39.7 lawyers attending that space if the 39.7 lawyers also attend much parliament movement and they listen to us and what we say and what, how we mobilize oh, senga banange tuli wala okay na abasomesa ne bakolecho 39 basomesa 39 ke basomesa mitwale esatu mukenda okay aha uh-huh. netu netufuna ba engineers na wone bakola chi students okay na ego ona loza ndituja kuogera uh, suna ya nakola mulimo gwe gwanga suna is not the most patriot is a patriot he loves his country he lo mulimo akukoze okay na ego okoze chi you ask yourself okay Some of us have been at the street and we are willing to go back but everyone never nafe bali abayimbi banaba atwe gatako mukusoka bagala kulaba anti nge chintu buli omu yenyigiramu ochege buli omu abasa ole street dogozi because we have many ugandans abali abasirisa nga bamba na government ngate bagala bine no bya like we were free whatever oli aveyo ate before you know it go blambe buli mukati abaga abamu bagala kuvayo nga bala kadala everyone yenyigidemu abasubuzi abasomesa abasawu ababoda boda abatax nga buli omu akoze chi ali wali kufua front therefore as i conclude let's focus on that peer to peer mobilization eh yeah? buli omuntu gendo kudda nonti njigwa gambi oba meka njibatano flyers tuzikubise ku nimi ezenja wolo okay ogaba flyers omuntu wo mubulire njiri omugamba nti 9th october tukola chi tugenda ku street by the time we come back before 9th october maybe by first week of october tujaba in every district mu uganda twina ya abantu who are willing to go to the street peacefully ne bagamba nti chimala chimala ebyo tubiganye ebya nongo seza teko president of the parliament tubiganye ebya ntula za parliament ebitali mu makeze tubiganye okay let's create momentum by that thank you thank you so much mo kanda by the way you had a very great points there akubanza bana so sina bigambo guys if you're not sure for the mic i'll just switch off the space i have i have had i have had good ideas from mo kanda from james mukisha bayo and other people If you think you can contribute to your idea please press for the mic and contribute um on how we can build a very strong uh, movement um yeah i appreciate everybody who sharing us this uh yesterday this um of um lawyers actually gave me courage kind of um i like to tune of um um sorry, is it 11000 or 12000 please begin to yeah once empty out empty out give me the microphone again if you mean that's one minute guys this is the mic when matter we're using a mic i'll just drop the space that is it I'm out I'm speaking I've had you ask about to pick microphone several times and the people are not speaking in my, the microphone but I, as another thing I wanted just to give you as a lesson in the HR system visa acquisition they will always ask for your social media the HR system now uses your social media as one of your evaluations for jobs now it's called public engagement you don't want to hire somebody who cannot engage because uh, marketing everything is about PR so if you ever travel maybe you want to get a visa and you're going to the US embassy, they'll ask for your social media account. They'll look at your public engagement. So you should not ask people so much and they think it's a joke. It's how we come and relate to each other here. It's how we come and we engage the public. It's how we come and speak on matters like you have heard of content development. This is even paid for now. That's why sometimes they look at who is the content developer and they'll request that you, 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 you make a subscription and they'll pay you. It's just not fun. You know, Ugandans have failed 
on content development, if Ugandans are failing on public engagement, the HR system will tell you, worldwide, Ugandans are difficult. They're not worth hiring because we kept quiet. By the way, keeping quiet has killed our skills. You find a doctor who can speak. You find a nurse who can speak. You find a lawyer who can speak because we all fear. And by suppressing your skill, you are killing it. So the HR system will use your social media to recruit you. And finally, yes, the, 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 the slide that I gave you, it's called civil engineering. Forget about, forget about the civil engineering you know in education. I mean, as an engineer, but civil engineering and recreating public administration. You look at associations. You look at, because you come out from school as lawyers to do what? If you can't associate as lawyers, if you can't even sort out the problems in your law sector, you come out as doctors. You, saw the, you, you have seen them. Ugandan doctors come out and they become destitute. And I'm like, which school? So people will ask which school these people go to. And in fact, most times when I go here, the people, have you gone to school? Have you gone to school? All the problems you complain about are solved by school. So our elites are as good as nothing. It's very difficult to defend an education overseas here. The other day I had lawyers saying that they can practice internationally. You can't practice internationally when you, when you, even the simple, simple little tires have failed, you have failed you to release. Even the, the small girls who got protest, you lock them up. It's negative for Uganda to do that. When it comes to international engagement, people look at that, that how did they handle even something with homosexuals, by the way. It's not an issue in America. It's not. It's not. America runs better than most of the world. It's not. But when it comes to your country, it is what you are using for fighting each other. So take it seriously when, when, when MP is saying, pick a microphone. There are people who are following you up. There are people who want to learn from you. There are people who want to see if you can be engaged. That's my small submission. Thank you. All right. The fact that uh, I'll just close the space. I can't allow, I can't solve up words, but I'm going to have a microphone. I think I'm going to have you know, normally there are no people ask. Like, so what woman do have So what woman do have to do? Like, second of all, because of this, I saw a woman to microphone. I'm not going to have to do that. I'll just close the space. Anyway, Shabil, Shabil, or Tassi Zegwaga, because the one who answers, I know you're not providing a similar, you've got no gamble watching. Then I'll just rather close the space. If you cannot, then no problem. Uh, the data one, I'll be that one. So, uh, Shabil, please have the mic. Shabil. Hello? Yeah. Um, Uganda first. I'll just close. So Shabil, we have the mic. How do you know we are Uganda? <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I've seen someone like Fiona. Fiona is a, has been a very, very instrumental in my life. When we have a space, I always request for a mic because I don't know whether that lady there has been really, really Good. Uh, my point is, I want to, there is a saying, Thomas Sankara, we are gamba, until now, we must choose either champagne or for a few or safe drinking water for all. That statement was a very, very strong statement by Thomas Sankara. What did he mean? It is great. He needs us to have a very deep thinking. We need to think deep, very, very deep and ask ourselves, do we need safe drinking water for all or we need the champagne? The point is, when you look at the political class today, they are more interested at their own game. They should, they find, we must, they are interested in a political game whereby, if your country called Uganda, it's no longer a country where they, 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 they look at it like where they can survive and continue drinking their champagne. But what about us? Are we, are we really having the safe drinking water? When I talk about the safe drinking, it's a social good, which combines all of us. A good which collects all of us. All of us want that safe drinking water. Few of us are looking for the champagne. Today, people, when when you sit down and you talk to someone how tough and how challenging it is, the person thinks that because he's drinking the champagne by relying on a, a bootlicking a leader or because he has got his business running and he's earning some peanuts, he thinks that he's okay. But he's forgetting that tomorrow, is going to be like the other person who is looking for that safe drinking water. Today, everyone should ask themselves, are we here to enrich ourselves to become billionaires or we are here to enrich the country become, for us, all of us, become legends? These are very wise words by, by Thomas Sankara, the iconic Sankara, you know. Folks, my brothers, whoever you, are, you want to put in power in a position of leadership, ask yourself, is he there? Is he going to bring the safe drinking water? 
Is he going to bring the health uh, hospital, which is going to treat all of us as a community? Or is going, you're going to bring a person who is going to enrich himself and build the mansions? These are very critical questions. They are not just critical questions, but they are questions you should ask yourself. How do you add to the voices of the voiceless? What are the kind of activities or civil activities, are you, civil kind of practices or education are you doing? Or what will have tools? Because you think now the lawyers are campaigning. You are so interested in going to the space of the lawyers and hear the good English of the Lant brothers. What do you pick? How can you rally someone on Gambo Mani? Soon I take a say one of the space. Gambo is it? You know? Come and listen what Brian is saying. Come and listen what Mokada is saying. What is Sarah saying? Ask yourself. These are questions you should tell a colleague. Not telling a colleague today there is a debate and there are big vocabularies which are going to be thrown. Hmm? Jargons. Because you are so interested that hearing the good goodies. In fact, in fact, in fact, I, I didn't listen. I was just there. I guess I didn't listen. We can see it again. Aha, katiyo vechi chiri chiri mungi. Kati nzi ogena no suvera. If you are not lingo enough, omutunga watu mani buzungu buronji owa go weka kasa muri Uganda, wamu muri Nyoro, wamu muri There are platforms like these ones where it is not about expressing yourself in English. Wa yo muri Nyango ro, wa yo muri Uganda ro, wa yo muri Chori, wa in whatever language you feel you are comfortable. Come and speak. A man from this Busia can. And in, for purposes of passing the communication or the information, what we are looking at is that civil, in, civil, civil education. Hmm? The civil education helps to build the mental capacity for someone to interpret a statement and ask himself, is this right? Right now, MP, so MP, Owade Ogamba, uh, Mao, the Honorable Minister of Justice, is trying to propose, I don't know whether it's a bill or it's a policy of requirement to be electing the leader. The question I would ask you, or a question I would, call, uh, I would tell everyone, how do you interpret that in your local language? Oh, because you never wanted to participate and understand it. So, if you're there, you're seeing these papers are being printed in the headed paper. Today, when you look at the front page of the new vision, he, who, who, he or she, who is the, where is he? <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was so funny. Monitor, 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 who is that? how many years? How many months did they tell you? Oh, how many days? Those are those are government. That means almost close to two years. Yes. The question you ask yourself is one. Where is he or she? You as a common man, ask him, trust yourself and say, as it who is really running the entire that 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 institution, that bank, central bank. Who is it the deputy? And what is it? Why is the role of the central bank man governor there? So these are the questions. How do you participate in knowledge building? How do you participate in equipping your brain with that knowledge? The knowledge which will help you interpret it in your common language. Because the situation we are in, it's a situation of living in an uncomfort environment. That comfort environment, you always go to do. You know, you know, Stop that comfortness. Go out there and st- educate yourself. What does New Vision talk about? Today, we have to report to I know soon very well you get that information. Just because there is no leadership. How many months has it taken and how many days has it taken without receiving a report? How many total numbers of people who lost their life in that place? Take yourself and interest yourself. comfortable. Then we are doomed. Today, MP is going to be going to be going to when UP offices over one or one or Katonga Road, the FDC over to NRM over very good because we are we are not believing in this multi party, but we are believing in a cause of changing our leadership. I'm believing in a, an environment where if my chairman has failed to give me a letter and I elected him, I'm there to question him. The thing is, you either resign or you perform your duties. That's the same spirit you should carry. Oh, so today. Now we are proposing that in the parliament. He is proposing a bill that parliament must elect the leader of the country. The symbol of unity in the country is the president. Baba, let us just remember this. Go and go, Muntu Ariye Ariye Echiseka. Go and go, Muntu Ariye Yomucharu. Go, Muntu Ariye No Uptown. Where was it? Where was it? What does that bill? How is it going to affect me? Where I am, and how is it going to affect my children? 
Don't sit there, Gambe. Ah, Casta, to sink and a mukakuona, and your child and your chisayo, and bear me a collagenated leader. To tumble abam, abam, to fly to funa, to funa would be. Some of us used to travel, or others travel. We are not from men, you know, gain it. No other passport, you know, government from Uganda. The first question they ask you, Uganda, Uganda, Bamanyami, Tibamani, Tibamani, no seven. It's in the nature of all of Bagama. Ah, Uganda is a country, it's a beautiful, it has the longest river, River Nile. May ye. Bofuru mabo tu ni guanga ngo furu mano genda. Biola bi, bi, bi wewe wewe, uwa jiona juu cha juu genda. Compare with your village over, uwa gendo kuzika. Uya gara bantu wa juu kuzika kanga noro bodo, dili sawa bantu kasaola kuita. Ula kwa nti normali mero kuhonda m chairman, asolo gamba l c three, asolo gamba l c five, asolo gamba m p, asolo gamba k, uwa jiba wazi zeme chibuenda. Kwa you feel you are comfortable because you come from, you know, that kind of ignorance, that kind of lack of self Importance in a community, in a society. To me, no music with Tufunian Nakuzin. MP will take a space in the Naga, Ranange, Mutiambe, Motosonde, you to a cola flyer, or to get a cola team. Feel free, or what's in the Gavi, what's in the Kachifu, whatever you can afford. Within us, about what I call Gamba, that kind of mentality whereby a person, what is in his mind, it's just people are opportunists. They are looking at the opportunist side of, 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 of everything. Yeah, to move your wine on your banana visa, banana kufuna, banana quality. When you ever sit there and ask yourself and embrace yourself and embrace yourself and say, I love my country, I don't care whatever I contribute. Yeah. They have got their own way of how they reason and interpret and internalize things. And to show you a weakness of our society and our community where we come from, it is a result as of our education, an education system which has crumbled. It is a result as of our education, an education system which has crumbled. Since UPE was introduced, I've got to yes. When I saw you, I'm not fully productive by UPE. Don't ask me a shimon. Shimon, you're going to lose a yard. I'm going to lose a yard. I'm going to lose a yard. But you, you know, that's what you're doing. Because the question is, ask yourself, if you cannot come to request to a mic and say something, what you feel is bothering your head, then you need to check yourself and ask yourself. See what your mind is all over again. See what your mind is all over participating in an object space. But what is that you can do? That is the question. What is that you can understand, interpret? That is the question. The question is, Alamu, some of us, we are here. We are whistleblowers. We, are, we thrive in whistleblowing. Remember, we are in the ministry. We are in the center of everything. We are in the center of everything. We are in the Print this. This is authentic information. I have It's about corruption. It's about money being robbed in the broad day. Okay? Use your capacity where you are. We are all in the center of everything. We are Indeed, they are corruption. Do it if you can. If you can go to the church and request before Mike and say, I want to commit, uh, preach something. Preach a verse or a gospel to show how the country has crumbled, how the country is being eaten up by the and rotten to the core of the incompetence of the leadership from the grassroots level up to the highest office of the land. And if you want to know, give them an example and tell them, well, you people, if you want to understand that we are country, democracy system and governance have rot- is rotten. Tumazeni yake, sakti tu ina governa. Ateka ati gwengo muhulizi. Omu gwengo akulira chachi yafu. Wakuli gwengo muzikitu yafu. If our president can do that, what about you our leader here? Enchato genda kerwa, oganu keta wogu hundi, akamuta antabalili yabitawu yafu wa noko chachi. Because the president ya chikola. Na wogamba, ngoli, nangin ya chikola. You can manipulate the laws because you feel you have the capacity. You at that level, you feel no one can question you. But if you go in the church and preach that, if you go in the post and preach that, if you go in the society and preach, people start seeing awareness. Nagamba, eh, abantu na kuzino wakambo. That is the level of civility of awareness. There is a level of accountability. People start waking up. People start realizing there is value in the society. They see that the society is minding about their wellness. But yeah, that comfortness. That comfortness. They can go to social media and they can go to the book. They can go to sports because that is what is trending. Yes, that is good. Leisure is part of life. Music is part of life. But the question is, when you watch notes of Boogie, what does it does it add you? Or when you watch what Arsenal, yes, Arsenal one, what does it add? How does it you know the question is the inf- the way you see information based on how you get it helps your brain to interpret the next level of action. Today some somewhere the crusade may be less much in parliament or in October, whatever the date is has been given. They are, they are telling you how can you participate in this campaign? Or you are waiting to be called in NUP to go and appear in cameras, or to go and appear in Katwanga Road in cameras with this Jivagamena or Limuchi or Limu struggle. A struggle does not mean to be called and appear in the in the party party 
headquarters, you can appear everywhere. Whether it is in the space, whether it's in your home, whether it's in your workplace, 